going to be cloudy, but we're not expecting that rain to start really until we get into about the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow. And it's going to be on and off on your Saturday and your Sunday, and then most of it looks to be on Monday. So I'll show you on the model in just a little bit, but we'll definitely have periods of rain throughout the weekend, and we'll definitely get some breaks from it too. Uh, it's about 61. It's cool over into downtown LA and quite a bit of cloud coverage as we look live over the Angeles National Forest over into Palmdale, where it is a cool 54 degrees. So all is pretty calm out there at the moment. Uh, we are just expecting temperatures to be a little cooler than yesterday. Overall, pretty mild day though. Enjoy time outdoors if you can before we start to get into some of this wet weather uh, the next few days. Not bad though, 63 in Long Beach, 58 in Redondo, and then about 60 in Burbank, 62 over into Pasadena. Temperatures aren't gonna get too chilly with this system. It is gonna be a warmer one. Winds shouldn't be too strong either. The big story is going to be rain. So I'll show you on the model what to expect in just a little bit. Philip, Jovan, I'll send it back to you. Brianna, we'll see you then, thank you. This just in, health officials have announced that the infant who died earlier this month tested positive for RSV. The less than one-year-old infant was from southwest Riverside County. The infant died at a local hospital after being taken there for breathing problems. It happened during a time when respiratory cases can be found across the country because of holiday travel and celebrations. Health officials are urging people to get vaccinated. A man who planted a homemade bomb at an Aliso Viejo spa has been sentenced. Stephen Beal has been sentenced to life plus 30 years in prison. The 2018 blast killed his ex-girlfriend who owned the spa. Two of her clients were also hurt. According to prosecutors, Beal was angry after his girlfriend broke up with him. Today, justice has been served. Mr. Beal will spend the rest of his days in a federal penitentiary.